That's, of course, I found this room. That's cool. We gotta get these at the smoke shop. Oh, it's velvet. Wow, this is all from my one light. Wow, so look at all this. Would you be able to have a copy of that? Oh, okay, okay good. Thanks. <laughs> Perfect. And, I, and, and that will be yours. And I tell people, look. I mean, and if you find any really cool information, you know, yeah, we're on Facebook, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I definitely will. Because I had a little more literature, but I can't find it. It was from a whole other archaeologist. This little thing right here. But anyway, this is just a culture that literally pre-exists China, the Yellow Emperor, pre-exists all that. For that reason, there's very little information on the culture. Chinese being a communist nation that claims to have always been Chinese. Mm. <laughs> so you get a, you get conflicting information depending on where you're getting it. But there are links. It's real simple, you know, Hong Shen, H-O-N-G-S-H-A-N. Pretty easy, uh, thing to remember mm -hmm. you know you can go online and you will find bits and pieces of information on them I think the first site that they the first findings were back in maybe 1958 somewhere around in there and they found a small temple complex and then until it was nothing until the 30s 1930s I think they found another temple complex and even maybe sacrificial information in that one do you know what the temples look like? Do mm -hmm. not. Do not. Really? And huh. these didn't come from a temple. Oh. This is in the mid-80s, 84, 85. They found a graveyard. A graveyard. And this graveyard is so massive that they think they used it for at least a thousand years. <laughs> the culture expanded 1,800 years. So you've got multiple pieces of stone in every grave site which tells you they're not rare if there's thousands and thousands of graves you know mm -hmm. but what they are it's just not known about the culture is known about yeah. I mean it was probably like the Egyptian culture you know yeah. way back in the day they were you know a lot of graves full of stuff like this but it's just been dispersed mm -hmm. because everybody wanted it and you'll come across some information that mentions this, mentions two other cultures. That one that you're looking at right there, that's a fertility doll from the Indus Valley. Mm -hmm. Another place in China with ancient cultures. And that's not as old as the Hongxin culture. Mm -hmm. And you see their work out of basically mud, clay, yeah. you know. Yeah. Whereas the Hongxin, they were already carving hard stone and stuff. These guys were really advanced out of the three cultures that lived in the area they were the stone carvers hmm. and there's been talk that there was trade within the three cultures they did intermingle and the Hong Shin being known as the great jade sculptures and stone <clears throat> sculpture can I see uh, one of them you can see any of yeah. you my friend <laughs> Now this is their god. Some say they're, some things you mentioned it just say they're aliens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's other information out there that say this is the sun god, represents the sun, you know, is the god of the sun. One thing you'll notice here, I'm trying to show you some difference. Out of these three, this one would be considered the newer one. And when I say newer, they lasted 1,800 years, so it's in that span, mm -hmm. it's that, that culture. But these guys got round eyes. Yep. This guy has slanted eyes. 
as any god, the people who are following it, the god starts looking <laughs> more and more like them, whether mm -hmm. it was a different color in real yep. life or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. But you can look through some of these. Right now, most of mine are the older, but there's one with slanted eyes. Slanted eyes, round eyes, round eyes, slanted eyes. And I think these were even later. Maybe of all of them in here, the, this and this being the latter. Hmm. When it's really started having the elongated eyes. It's amazing. But this is just all speculation because I don't live in China, number one. I'm a stone collector, a collector of carved stone from all cultures and all ages. He did that. <laughs> and uh, it's just a matter of this is something I come across in history. Like I say, in the mid 80s, I, I found, got wind of it and was able to get some of it. And I actually bought a large amount. Uh, being honest, it was no more expensive than the modern car China stuff, mm -hmm. you know. You know, like the cicadas and stuff. I probably collected <laughs> 200 cicadas, you know, I mean, same way with the fish and skulls, and it just goes on and on. I'm just, I collect stone carved stuff. Um, oh, look at the crystal. Oddities. Yeah, that's a baby ghost from Thailand. I noticed the crystal in there. Yeah. <laughs> I just put that in there earlier. Oh, that's great. Energy. That's great. So that crystal is from Woodward. That's it from is. my property. It is. <laughs> Shows how good of a friend you made real quick. <laughs> That's amazing. Because I give them, you know, offerings. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just a little rice. Sometimes they'll stick a crystal in there and a piece of selenite, mm -hmm. uh, you know, certain stones. You know. Just to, to let them know I recognize them in their mm -hmm. spirit. Yeah, it's beautiful. Can uh, can I see the, the bat? Yes, yeah, <clears throat> I don't want to get that That's... out for you because it's... Uh, <laughs> It's all strucking type piece to me. And of course this was body armor. I don't know if you can get the light good enough, but there is sparkles of nickel and other metals in it. Some say this is carved out of meteorite. I've never had anything tested on it or anything. I collected maybe nine of these, eight of these, and I've sold most of them. I'm down to maybe three. Hmm. Um, they were varying in sizes, all fairly large, but you could definitely tell they were hand done. There was no two that were yeah. even, I mean, you set them all around, but they're the same thing, but mm -hmm. they're all a little different, you yeah. know? Uh, a lot of it, they probably work with the piece that they have too. Mm -hmm. they have and it is curved, you know, literally. Very smooth. Literally, you know, yep. when you're talking a culture that they're four, four and a half foot tall, 80 pounds, you know, that's a big piece of stone. Most of them I, I collected, you could see damage on them in places. Even this one's got a little fracture here. Mm -hmm. Some of them, when I got them, I literally, they came to me in two, three pieces. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I just restored, you know, glued them back together, basically yeah. a fancy word. <laughs> um, this one is as I got it. It's amazing how smooth they are. It is. And, and this is the same stone as this? It is. So, do we have a light? Can I, Can you uh, talk about the stone a little? Which is probably meteorite. Right. I'm already carrying around one. Yeah. This guy's in... Feel how magnetic that is. <laughs> That's crazy. It's really wild. So amazing. On his head, not as much. Hmm. It shows it's inconsistent. You know, it's a stone. Yeah. Really grabs. <laughs> There's not enough to pull this heavy thing. Mm -hmm. But like I say, when you get it in the right light, you can see little flakes of nickels or other hard stone. They're just yep. little small fragments. And when you Some shine... of them had, I've seen bigger pieces, you know. Yeah. Well, that, where was that other one we had before? Oh, that guy in the back. I mean, look and at this stuff. guy, you can see like, some of it looks more like gold or a golden color. 
Have you ever tested it even no. to see if it was gold? Nope. I would not want to find out if it was gold. <laughs> I mean, it's... But this stone... Barely. Mm -hmm. And that is the same way all of these black pieces are. Some of them, boy, are really strong and other... And you've noticed some of them, Dennis, that had the like green glass look, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like and, that you know, bat. Yeah, that yeah. Was... So they're not all, I mean, they look black here, but you mm -hmm. can get them in, in bright light, some of them, and you can literally see green areas, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll show you those later. But these these uh, head pieces were in next to a... Uh, in, all in graves. Grave. Yeah. Every piece supposedly well, yeah. came out of a grave. Now, I wasn't over there digging this or anything like that. But when you're in a country like China, yeah. with the poverty and stuff, you know, stuff just comes out of... <laughs> yeah. Well, any, nowadays, <clears throat> anything you get comes from China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's, uh, you know, like, I, like you can tell when you check out my store, there's, there's stuff carved out of stone. <laughs> all over the store some of it's very modern some of it some of it's what some people call antique you know 100 200 years old 300 <laughs> bunch of stuff and here's 500 yeah. you know which when you talk the, like the chinese culture when you talk about them i mean they've got a written history of 5,000 damn years yeah so you know 500 year old thing from China ain't nothing. <laughs> you know, it really isn't. You know? Yeah, especially, I mean, I realized that I went to Portugal when I was younger mm -hmm. with a friend, and I'm like walking down the road, and like, I'm thinking, like, wow, that wall is older than my country. Right. You know? Right. <laughs> 500 year old wall. We uh, live in a very modern, mm -hmm. new. Yeah. Cult I don't even want to say we're a culture. Okay, yeah, but we know. have our own culture. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah, we do. That's true. But well, that's one of those bats. You know, you can see on the... I'll get some out, so... I don't know if your camera will pick it up. <clears throat> but these guys... It's real hard to see in the bad light. But you can see markings on the backs of the heads. Oh, yeah, we can see it. And each marking is different. I have quite a few heads, and none of them have the same mark. So I'm assuming these are names. Mm -hmm. Another thing about these heads... Almost all the pieces, and I mean, when I say almost all, basically all the gods have a double hole in them. Even things like, has the double holes in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they sewed these to their clothing or they wore them as pendants or what, but they can be worn. When it comes to your burial heads, they don't have the the holes to really wear right they had the holes over here but it's not like the uh that's one thing. of the giveaways man they have that instead of just drilling a hole through it <laughs> it kind of used which mm -hmm. to me is amazing you know yeah just to make it a little more difficult mm -hmm. <laughs> and you'll see that through all the pieces that you know different kind of rock you got two holes here but then you still have the mm -hmm. the loop Yep. Jeez. And that's another god out of another stone. Not magnetic. I have run through a few that I've found that were brownish that were magnetic also. Hmm. Can I see that that uh long cylinder one? Yeah. Is that one is cut as round as but you can tell they cut from each side. Oh, yeah. Didn't quite meet perfect in yeah. the middle, but That's it was amazing. able to do what they wanted to do. So what tool? And that well, did if that? you look, this piece here alone, there's a hole there. Mm hmm Yep. And almost all of them have this. This could have been a mounting method mm -hmm. for the the sculptor to to do the rest of his work. And then you almost see always see holes in the arms mm -hmm. on each side. Could have been the same. So fascinating. But if you look down at these, 
almost all of these have that characteristic to them. The holes in the arms, mm -hmm. between the feet. So I'm assuming it's a way of capturing that rock and holding it still when they work on it. Mm. Yeah, even holding it still to, mm, to do yeah, all this yeah, is, yeah. is a task by itself. Okay. How y'all doing? Oh, that's okay, thank you. This stuff is amazing. Yeah, it is. Really. See how old it is? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, there's such a little known about the culture. And that's what's cool about it. I know the skull, I've never seen that. This skull is just amazing. Yeah, the skull, I carved more skulls on it. <laughs> that is really cool. I've seen that. That is beautiful. You did, you did yeah. that? Wow. Wow. It wasn't my idea. I've seen it somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not smart enough for that, but I can carve. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bob Bob's. Yeah, I, I'll sit here in good rocking. We'll be on and I'll be sitting here and me and the, this guy will get rocking. <laughs> Headbangers. <laughs> and this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's magnetic. Jeez. That's amazing. And oh. written somewhere, like I say, I collected most of this stuff back in the 80s and the early 90s. Uh, it seems like the, somewhere I read, the black stone was a sacred stone to them. Mm. Most of their religious pieces, you know, like the the uh, gods, they're not all, not, you see gods out of agate and stuff, mm -hmm. but when it and comes it to like the black bugs, uh, there's some of the pieces I've never found in anything but the black stone. Uh, mm. The skeleton, little skeleton guys, mm -hmm. out of maybe collecting 100, 152 were out of another kind of stone. Wow. All the rest were out of the black stone. So it, it's like this black stone, it's something to do with religion. Mm. You know, I mean, it's, it's sacred to them in some way. I That's why a lot of them, they say it's meteorite stuff. If you're worshiping the sun and yes. <laughs> you collect a rock that come fiery out in the sky, it's yeah. special stuff, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. Cicadas. But yes, I have gotten rid of a lot of my collection. It was really massive. I'm mm -hmm. getting down to where now I've got more small pieces. Mm -hmm. The larger ones, which I never had tons of them, but I had 20 or 30 of them, you know, mm -hmm. that what I consider large pieces. But I had a couple of friends with the means, you know, mm -hmm. that purchased them from me. How big is was the biggest piece you had? Mm -hmm. you that tall. Mm -hmm. And I've heard there's bigger, but yeah, you know, to me this is large. Yeah, that's... you know, or that other, or <clears throat> you know, the skulls. Those mm -hmm. to me are large pieces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I've had a couple that are bigger. Man, this is. A... And you know, I everybody I, I talk to them about, you know, they're not priced any more than the modern stuff right next to them. Mm -hmm. I didn't invest anymore. Back when I bought them, I was always hoping one day, you know, that it was like my little gold mine. You know, they would it would come out and they'd learn a bunch about them, and all of a sudden their stuff would be like. Yeah. If it was mine or Egyptian, just, right, you know, right. yeah. th there'd be thousands of dollars in here, you know, I mean. I but, think we're just a little early. Yeah. But the problem is, now we're finding so darn much, we're finding culture after culture after culture. Yeah, it's so, true, yeah. So, mankind's uh, existence beyond where we're at right now is expanding hmm. quicker than we c we're even realizing hmm. with the new LIDAR and stuff like that. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, that's a right. bunch of the people we knew about, like the Mayans, we're realizing they're 
ten times larger than we thought they were, you know, and it's just, yeah. We've been kicking rocks around here <laughs> for way longer than we were given credit for. And we've been as smart as we are now. It's just a different kind of smart. I think back in the day we just ran off a different technology. We wasn't plastic people like we are. This, this, us now, thousands of years in the future, <laughs> when they dig our layer up, we're going to be known as the plastic people. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's going to be our... Yeah, 30,000 years, you probably won't even see that plastic. We'll just be completely yeah. erased. Like, we're not doing Well, it'll like be this. in dust. It'll be dust, yeah. Yeah, because the one thing, plastic, once you make it, it don't never right, go away. Right, yeah. It just, some will break down. It's but, in our kidneys, yeah. in our livers, it's everywhere. The ocean. Yeah, there'll be, a, I figure, a good each layer just plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the quarry, you can yeah, see the exactly. different layers we'll, of, we'll you could. be that inch of plastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it might be dust, it might be uh, whatever, but yeah. it's going to be the That's stuff that so hangs weird. around. That and a little radiation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is great. That helps some. Okay, here is my stash. Uh, we are in the pop up tent now. Look at this stuff. So, that is not a crack, that's someone's initial. Mr. T. That's part of the stone. This looks like it has that gold in it. Like we saw in the other one in the shop. Um, the pig dragon. I'm going to show you. Where's my light? Anyway. So this is the god. The older god with the round eyes. Another grave marker. A lower class not a class but definitely this costs a lot more to get made when you uh, someone died another god pendant i mean these are all just so beautiful all over i mean the the holes go through the eyes and out the other side definitely not straight Same thing with the one in the back. That hole goes through, but not straight. Look at this guy. Gee -hee. Smiley face. A cicada. Another one of the gods. The way do you see this thing? Now this, more of the boreholes. But some kind of machinery. Who knows? This is one of the newer gods because he said they believe that the, uh, oh, you saw that. The eyes go up slanted. Another. So here's the fun part. Hold on. Right. So I don't want to turn that off. Turn the flash off. Let's see. So this is what is super special about this stone. It's a type of jade. Boy, I wish I had another hand. Can you see that? So that is a green jade. It's magnetic. And it has like bits of gold in it. <clears throat> you can see that in a lot of the pieces. Let me see if I can do this. Let's see through his eye. Let's see what this guy does. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, burn in the eyes. Uh, this one. This, I believe it. 
Yeah, see that? Isn't that crazy? So he thinks it's some kind of meteorite or something. This is too thick to see through. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, this is a great specimen. You like that specimen, huh? So he's got a lot of more of this. I might want to buy more. Turn the lights on. Um, such a great collection. One of a kind. Something glassy on the outside. And choose the consequences. So you can watch this. But. Check out that website. But yeah, please. I want to buy more. I think everybody should contact him and buy some of this because this is crazy ancient. <sighs> wow. Crazy. This is my favorite piece. Look at that. Look at the precision. The details. The craftsmanship of all this. That is sticker on it. Whoops, that's my hand. Everything they carved in every single side of it the backs the bottoms. I mean this is What is that material? I was watching some documentaries on YouTube about ancient China and They were talking about pieces like this that they don't know what the stone is And they showed something not as nice as this and from a newer time. I mean, this is crazy. There's some language on the back. Probably just a family name or something. Nothing else really has any. Oh, where's the other piece I had? The piece I've been carrying around, last but not least. Here's his card. Please check him out, folks. That's my last piece. The dragon. The feet underneath. The head. The tail. All right, everybody. Thank you. Please, where's their Facebook? You'll find them on Facebook. If you can't, you shouldn't be watching YouTube videos. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, baby.